officially the last week of my study abroad here at Oxford and I feel like I haven't really documented the full experience yet so I think this week I'm just gonna do like a weekly video of what I get up to. We have some exciting kind of things planned because tomorrow we do have high table dinner but yeah for the next three days we just have our three hour class every day and then Thursday we have all of our assignments due and our final Friday is free and then Saturday I'm flying back home but right now is Monday. It's like 8 20 in the morning a class starts at 9 so right now I'm gonna head to the dining hall to grab some breakfast so after I finished having breakfast I walked across campus to my English class each class was about three hours and during this final week we were studying Jane Austen's Mansfield Park Our college was very close to the main downtown area, so after class I ended up walking to Westgate Mall to just pick up a quick lunch. I just got back from getting a sandwich for lunch after class because I was starving, so I went to Joe and the Juice. This is my new obsession. I got it yesterday, right before I left London. It's just the club sandwich with gluten-free bread but it's so good like I'm actually obsessed with it but I have a lot of work to do today and stuff that I need to catch up on because I literally did nothing the entire weekend well I did a bunch of stuff I was in London I just did nothing that was related to school so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna start grinding out some work On Tuesday after class, I went back to my dorm and started working on my final essay for a few hours before I had to start getting ready for the high table dinner. Today we have our high table dinner. It's basically just like a fancy end of course dinner in the dining hall. We still have a couple of days left, but it's pretty much the last week, so everything's just wrapping up. So I just got ready and I'm about to walk over to the dining hall. I think we're all gonna take some pictures first and then we have to like proceed into the hall and I think there's some speeches and stuff and then obviously we're gonna have dinner. So yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> Both of the classes attending high table dinner met up in the main quad on campus where we were able to take pictures and tried very hard not to freeze to death because it was very cold. And the dining hall itself was set up so nicely, it almost felt like I was in some scene from Harry Potter. After a lot of eating out and making subpar meals in my dorm kitchen microwave, I was really looking forward to this meal. It was three courses, definitely the best food I had in Oxford. We ended the night at the on-campus pub for karaoke and a very amateur level game of darts. I just finished my final day of classes here at Oxford. A bit bittersweet, but I still have like a couple of assignments due that I need to work on. So after class, I went to Pret to get some lunch. I just got some crisps slash chips and then like falafel salad bowl. In about like 45 minutes, I have a meeting with my professor to go over our journal assignment. We just have to like show him how much we've completed of each of the days, tell him like what we learned, how we incorporated the course into it. It's only 15 minutes, so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, but I just want to make sure that I know what I'm going to say. So I'm going to eat my lunch, do that, and then I think later, perhaps we're gonna go to a cafe. We were thinking of going to Waterstones, but apparently it's really busy today, so we'll see. But I desperately need to finish my essay. After my meeting, I met up with two of my friends and we ended up walking to Cafe Nero to make some progress on our essays. So since today was our last day of class, our professor's doing a little like final get together at this outdoor pub slash bar restaurant. Our whole class has been invited to go. So I just got back from the cafe. I did make some good progress on my essay. So me and my friend are gonna head over there. I probably won't stay for that long because I do wanna try and finish my essay tonight. We walked to Jericho where this almost hidden restaurant was and we met up with our class just for some pizza. 
After a bit, my friend and I left and we walked through Port Meadow, which is basically just a very large field with wild cows and horses. We happened to be there at sunset also, which just made it even more beautiful. I just submitted my final assignment that I had to do for my class, so I'm officially done the summer abroad class. I'm glad that I'm done all the work, but it's also kind of sad, but I literally start school again like in less than a week, so I'm gonna try to enjoy these last few days that I have school free. I don't really have any solid plans for tonight. I think I'm gonna go get dinner somewhere. For right now, I'm gonna go to a cafe get a latte and I think just go on a walk. I've basically just been stuck in my room all day so I kind of just want to get out and walk around. I ended up just wandering around and going into a couple of shops that I stumbled across along the way and then later that evening I met up with one of my friends and we walked around Oxford for a while just talking and admiring the city at night. my last day in England today or my last full day because the flight is tomorrow. I have a full day off today and I've decided that I'm gonna go back to London because I just loved it there so much when I was there on the weekend and I really wanted to go to Notting Hill and there was a carnival last weekend so I didn't like get to do Portobello Road Market so fingers crossed that I'm gonna do that today. I'm quickly gonna go eat breakfast at the dining hall and then I'm gonna walk over to the bus station because there's an Oxford bus that goes straight to London. The first thing I did when I arrived in London was go to Kuro Coffee, which is a very small but cute coffee shop in Notting Hill. I then walked to Portobello Market where I went into a variety of vintage stores as well as the iconic travel bookshop before grabbing lunch at a nearby vegan restaurant called Pharmacy. I just grabbed lunch and it was very good. Now I'm gonna go do some shopping and then I'll probably head back to Central. Saturday morning, my flight is at 6 p.m. today. The bus is picking us up from Oxford at 1 p.m. I went and got my final breakfast this morning and then I was up really late last night packing, so pretty much everything is good to go. It's a really sad leaving. We were here for like a full month. It kind of felt like we were, I mean, we were living here, but I did feel like I was like actually a student in Oxford. We have to drop off our bags and be out of our rooms by 10, which is in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then, like I said, we have till one. So I'm probably just gonna hang out in the city. I think I'm gonna try to go get some Oxford merch, maybe like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. I might go to a cafe. There's still one cafe that I really wanted to go to that I never got to go to. Also very quickly, I realized that I never did a little dorm tour so i'm going to show you guys what an oxford dorm looks like i actually had two during my stay here this one is much nicer than the other one i had so this is the entryway it is empty because i packed up all my stuff but right on the left is the bathroom it has a shower a mirror you know everything you need and then outside of the bathroom is this wardrobe which is basically just a little closet. Next to the closet is this wall of like most of the furniture in the room. There's a dresser here and then a mini fridge also. This is the desk and then this was the little board and then there's a bookshelf here. And then opposite to that wall is this little chair. This is the window seat, which is probably my favorite thing. So it has a nice view of this little like garden area outside. And then this is the bed and the nightstand. The bed was not the most comfortable thing, but I feel like if you had a mattress topper or something, it would be fine. Mm -hmm. 
After I picked up some souvenirs, I went to the independent cafe to kill some more time. I had been wanting to go to this cafe for a while and of course it ended up being my favorite despite it being my last day in Oxford. Nonetheless, it had a really cozy atmosphere and an amazing view of Christchurch which was just across the street. final show in the juice sandwich. I have to get one more before I leave because they're just so good. 